Hey guys, this is Hafiz and thanks for tuning in to FYG and today we'll be fixing Virtual Cop 2. Who doesn't know Virtual Cop 2, right? Okay, first of all, a little bit of compromise. You're not gonna be really running the game in full screen. Okay, there's gonna be a little bit of gray layer at the top of the screen. So if you are still interested, go on watching this video. If not, back off and watch others. Thank you very much. So first of all, of course, we're gonna insert the CD-ROM in the CD drive. Alright guys, so after you have inserted the disk to your virtual drive or physical disk drive, what I need you guys to do now is actually to right click on it and click on Open Autoplay. Here it is. Alright, Open Autoplay and run loader.exe. So you're going to see the screen, click on Install and change the directory of Sega to C Games V Cup 2 instead. Just like that. Okay, C Games V Cup 2. Done, click on Normal. And the installation will begin and on this screen click on do not install now you can choose to play the game if you want to but I'm gonna show you the problem when I choose to play the game first of all is a Windows 8 pathetic virus which is this windowed mode yeah this window I don't know why because it's an obstruction when you when you play this kind of game you know the enemies might be at the top so you can't see a shit so I'm gonna show you this one thing you see this stage select you can't even see shit and bloody hell is laggy so I'm not gonna go on further bragging about it I'm just gonna exit the game so what we're gonna do now is actually to click on the two links that I gave you below one is the vcop2 fix which is gonna be linked to my uh, OneDrive account look for it vcop2 fix download okay and you're gonna receive a vcop2 fix win rar file and the next thing is also the windowed borderless gaming and you can click on that and download as well now the windowed borderless gaming can also be found at your official website thank you for them for creating such an amazing tool okay so the next things the next couple of things we need to do once you have downloaded both things you're gonna be going to your games folder I recommend putting the windowed borderless gaming in your games folder don't leave it on your desktop okay because it's gonna create a configuration file and it's gonna be messy on your desktop if you do so so put it somewhere safe and then you're gonna run it alright and you're gonna see here at the bottom right hand corner of your system tree icon is gonna be there now you can choose to run a startup and you know so that every time you start the computer is gonna run which is a very good tool so I recommend doing so now the next thing that you need to do um, is to go to your vcop2 directory where you install the game look for project folder open that and you're gonna see a bunch of files there okay so you need to replace all these files from the fix that I've given you and the fix that I've given you basically I've configured most of it for you to play the game in a better way than how it's supposed to be played on Windows 8 alright so once you have replaced all the files double click on the VC2 D draw fix run it and click on yes and OK so if you install on other locations before you run this ddraw fix right click on it and edit and you know change to whichever location or directory that you have put on the game and save it and then only you run it alright also the fix contains a vcop2 configuration file here now I've added it to make it zero now zero means window okay so the rest I've you know um, configure it for you to run at the best graphic settings and also the more the most health and of course the key configuration is still the mouse alright so once you have done double check all that is okay it's all good now okay what I need you guys to do now is to double click on the ppj2 dd.exe I don't know why Sega 2 Sega wants to name that file like that so anyway uh, you will suddenly see this virtual cup 2 in a small window what the f what the hell happened just now it was at least full screen and now suddenly it's a window is even smaller than my 15 inch monitor god damn it hell what are you supposed to do so don't worry about it all right so once you have done this what I need you guys to do is to press alt tap that's right alt tap on the keyboard where the game will go to the background and pause it and then hover your mouse to the system tray icon here right click on the black monitor and click on add window okay now if you have clicked that and go back to the game and press F3 now if it doesn't work like I'm I'm doing it now okay I'm sorry I press F4 god damn it press F3 
Okay, uh, as you can hear Hey, it doesn't work, nothing happened Don't worry, Alt tap again Go back here again Right click on it and press add window one more time And then go to the game, try to click it on top here Virtual Cup, okay, this name here Click on it again and press F3 And voila, voila, voila The game will launch again and now you have all this shit on top which is better of course on the windows 98 version or windows xp if you play you don't have such thing but there are some sacrifices you have to make on newer os unless you enjoy playing on your old computer like i do then it's fine but you know some of us don't have old computers anymore we only have the new ones and for now temporary fix is this i really hope windows 10 is better oh shit i'm, I'm playing it okay so i'm just gonna exit the game with Alt F4 so you're gonna ask me what happens if next time I start the game you know what um, if you don't want to go to see games V Cup 2 project so just right click on it and create a square shortcut on your desktop okay it's gonna be here rename it if you have to alright um, temporarily I'm just gonna put it like that and then I'm just gonna double click on it and then the game is gonna launch in full screen still again the top the top gray layer okay that one it cannot be helped because that's how sega designed it they have this stupid thing they don't have an in-game options unlike virtual cop i'm sorry virtual fighter 2 where you change the settings in game they are using an uh, extra window layer to change the graphics options so that's how it is so we can't avoid that but then again it's still better than the windowed version that we had early on we've seen early on you still can see the stage select here right so that's it as long as your windowed borderless gaming is running at all time you can just double click on the game and play virtual cop 2 so thank you once again for checking out fyg i'm hafid signing off from youtube